everyone, this is Sasha here from The Balanced Canine and Gavin the Great Dane. Today we're going to take you through how to do a rear end taping, especially for older dogs. These are usually dogs that um, have a degenerative uh, disc disease or something like that. They tend to get quite weak in the rear end. Um, so we're going to use Gavin here and run you through how to actually do this taping. Now, we're not going to take you through the whys and the hows of this taping. We're going to presume that you already know this. If you don't, click on the link in the description uh, for our first rear end taping video. That'll take you through how to use tape, why to use tape, and also how to tape it, uh, how to tape it off. All right, here we go. All right, so a couple of things that you're going to need is you're going to need your non-stick scissors. You're going to need your rock tape. Um, I think for this taping, it's going to be best to use a five centimeter wide tape and you're going to use your adhesive spray. We use Safe Hands Ball Grip and this is from Alpha Spot. It helps tack up the coat a little bit more and so the um, tape is going to stick better and it's going to um, keep there for longer. Alrighty. Alrighty, so to get started, you're ideally going to have somebody to help you to hold the dog or you can have some treats or tether the dog. Now, I'm just putting him um, with his butt towards you because I want to show you some landmarks and how we're actually going to do this taping. Okay, so you've got your hip bones, so if the dog was really skinny, you'd see these hip bones. And then you've got the butt bones, which they sit on. And then we're going to start halfway down here, okay? So we're going to come up over those hip bones, over these hip bones, and come a bit further over. Okay, so it's onto the side of the dog. Then we're going to do the same. Come up the hip bones and then down the side. I'm going to show a picture on the screen to show you what this taping um, is also going to look like. Um, Alright, so first thing you're going to have to do is get your tape because you're going to need to measure um, where you're going to be going and how much tape you're going to need. This is going to be a little bit more difficult uh, for me because um, Gavin does like to move and I don't have anyone here to hold him. Okay, so halfway down, first landmark is the butt bones, second landmark is the hip bones, then coming over, stay there please. Okay. So, I'm going to need about this much tape, alright, so, so what I've done, I've cut the strip that I need and I've rounded my edges, I'm going to take the end bit off, which is going to be my base that has no stretch, okay, ideally you would have sprayed the dog first, left it a minute um, to dry a bit, um, and then we're going to put it on, okay, so we're going to start halfway down, okay, Nice gentle rub. Good. Do a little pull so we can separate the paper from the tape. So we'll pull it up a little bit. I'm going to go to my first landmark. I'm going at about 20% stretch here. First landmark. Okay. Stay put, please. Now I'm going to my second landmark, which is the hip bone. Please, good boy. Now remember how we had that bit at the start that doesn't have any stretch at the base? You're going to do that again at the end. Okay, just going to bring Gav back over again. Okay. has lifted slightly, don't be stressed about that at all. The ends will lift slightly. Um, in this case, the hair is still attached to it, so that's actually good. We're perfectly fine with that. 
if um, over the coming day days that it completely um, flaps off, then you just trim away those areas. The core pieces of our taping, you know, are pretty much through here. Okay, so we're not going to be too worried about those end bits um, that come up. And we can use anchor tape as well to adhere those better. Okay, so we're going to do our next size. Thank you, Gavin. Very good. Slobber off my hand. Stand still, please. Stand still. Not a big fan of having anything to do with his red ends done. Oh, yeah. Not very helpful at all. Okay, first landmark, butt bone, 20% stretch. Stand still. Stand still. Second landmark, hip bone. So, this is where you're going to come over and do the cross point now. Stand still, please, 20%. Stand still. And the end with no stretch. A nice rough. Alrighty. So if we walk around. Okay, so now we have two more strips to go. Boy. So the first strip is going to this way, please, Gavin. Thank you. And to come here. So we've got this much in front of it. And come up and across here. We're going to do this at about 40% stretch. So first of all, we need to measure it. Very good. Round our edges. This time we're going to fold it in half. Okay, rip it down the middle. Peel back. So you can see that you've got your bases here. Okay. And this time what we're actually going to do is put it um, the 40% stretch in the middle down. It's going to be a lot easier to do it that way. Go ahead. Alrighty. So, get your 40% stretch, put down where you want, let go so you've got no, um, no stretch on the ends. Nice rub down. Good boy. Very good. Alright, so I'll show you this. Okay, so this is the one that we just did. piece of tape to go and this is going to be really similar to this piece that we just did. It's still going to be 40% but this time it's going to go over the hip bones. Okay, so here. So measure it out what you're going to need. Very good. Take off your edges. Good boy. Same again is that you're going to um, bend it at the middle. Rip. Bend back, so you've got your bases on that side. Find hip bones, okay, and go over the top of them. Very good. Give them a rub down. Now, your tape is naturally going to lift because the dog moves, okay? So any end that you have, you can put an anchor tape on it. Now, the anchor tape is no stretch. You can use your full strip or you can go half, take um, off your edges just like you did before. Alrighty. I found it easier just to 
do the rip down the middle as well. Okay, so you can do them on an angle, I tend to find um, works well. And that just helps um, this end bit stay um, in place a little bit more. Don't be worried if your anchor lifts, it's not a drama at all. Tape is going to lift, so do not stress about it, okay? The core pieces of our tape are actually where it intersects, okay? So, yes, I would like it to stay down here. I would um, put anchors through here. Um, I do like it going over the hip bone, but these are my crucial points, all right? So again, don't stress if the tape lifts. It will lift and it may do it quickly or it may not do so quickly if you use um, the spray. If you have any questions, um, just holler. Thank you, Gavin. Good boy. Good boy.